My name is Helen. I'm the vicar, one of the priests at Christ Church Cathedral, Vancouver. All worship services, events, and gatherings are currently suspended at the cathedral. This is an effort with churches across the country to flatten the curve of the COVID-19 virus. During this time, the cathedral will be going online. Please join us at 1030 on Sunday morning for a live stream of our Sunday morning worship. You can access the live stream at thecathedral.ca slash live stream. For a full list of updates to our online programming, please visit thecathedral.ca slash update. Earlier this week, our interim priest in charge, Canon Richard Lesseur, issued this pastoral letter to the congregation. To the community of Christ Church Cathedral, Jesus said, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world gives, give I unto you. Do not let your hearts be troubled, nor let them be afraid. You have likely been anticipating a letter from your cathedral as the world deals with the COVID-19 virus. Out of principal concern for the well-being and health of all, the cathedral leadership team of your wardens, trustees, vicar, and myself determined to suspend all public worship at the cathedral beginning today and for the time being. At the same time, Archbishop Melissa Skelton wrote Tuesday afternoon requesting the same of all churches in the Diocese of New Westminster. The cathedral staff has been focused on shifting Sunday worship services online, complete with the production of digital Sunday bulletins to enable at-home worship across the parish and indeed the diocese. For many of us, it may feel odd to log into the cathedral website for worship at 10.30 a.m. on Sunday morning with a cup of coffee in hand, but try it. Download the bulletin in advance. Join in singing the hymns as Rupert leads the songs of praise. Join in the prayers. There was a long time ago when the people of Israel could no longer go to the temple. They asked, how can we still know God if we cannot worship together, offer sacrifice, experience the magnificence? Is the Lord of hosts still with us? And the answer came, yes. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Psalm 46, 7. And underneath are the everlasting arms. Deuteronomy 33, 27. We can do this. We will discover other ways of being the body of Christ and faithfully witness to the risen Christ in our midst. What your cathedral staff and leaders recognize is that a significant opportunity is open before us at this moment to enlarge the ministry of the cathedral in new forms. As public worship ceases across the diocese, the cathedral can play a key role in the online presentation of excellence in worship, song, preaching, prayer, and praise. We anticipate other Sunday liturgies such as Compline, and indeed the liturgies of Holy Week to be added once the technical learning curve is complete. Archbishop Melissa wrote us on Tuesday. I see this time as an opportunity for the cathedral to strengthen its positive relationship with the rest of the diocese. Your cathedral is not closed. Our ministry and community will continue in new ways as we live with open doors, open hearts, open minds. Please check the cathedral website for new postings of pastoral reflections and updates on our evolving ministry. Please know that you are in our prayers. Let us keep connected, support one another, and especially reach out to the vulnerable around us who might welcome a phone call in their isolation or assistance with groceries, etc. Please remember the needs of the cathedral. Your financial support is very important through this period. Consider going to www.thecathedral.ca slash donate to make an additional donation of support or slide the Set Up Automated Giving button to join the automated giving. The great news of this past weekend is the appointment of our new rector, the Venerable Dr. Chris Pappas. He will join us on June 1st, as a new chapter in the life of the cathedral begins afresh. May I wish you good health, safety, and every blessing 
in the risen Christ. Warmly, Richard Lesseur, Interim Priest in Charge. I look forward to seeing you on the live stream worship this Sunday, 10.30 a.m. Children and families are especially welcome at this service. Stay safe, stay home, wash your hands, check in on each other by phone or email, and know that you are held in God's care during this time.